We are not entities. We are relations. And if we think this way, it's probably also easier to understand what I am. There's no Carlo entity. There are all the relations that build Carlo, all the processes, all the events, all the relations. If I think this way, I think it's easier to make sense of what we are. I have a picture in my house of being a small kid with my parents in a hotel in the mountains in Italy. And at some point, just running out of the hotel, uh, of course, my parents panicked because they couldn't find me. That's the image I have of myself, this little kid who just run out because of curiosity and go out in the snow and look at things. Everything I've done, I think, was largely inspired by my own rebellious youth. I just got to university and said no to almost everything that society was offering to me. And at some point I decided to stop studying and just go in the world. I dropped out from university. The idea was, let's not do what our parents did. Let's invent something completely new. My family was furiously against me doing that, of course. They thought I was wasting my life. I went you know, rumbling along in the world, in fact, in Canada. And that was fantastic. I think that was the first step of everything I've done later on, because I had the courage to take things in my hand and try something different. And it's with the same spirit that I've done science. One of the things that fascinated me in quantum mechanics is that it was invented by kids in their 20s. The key idea came from Heisenberg, he was 23 just immersing himself in a big problem. And it's a problem which everybody has tried and failed. And at some point he decided to take the risk to go into very wild ideas. And one day things start working. And so Heisenberg get all excited, deeply aware that he has made a major step in understanding nature. This was the creation of quantum mechanics 20 years later, it was an atomic bomb out of his equations. Now we have quantum computers, we have lasers. And that's the thing that maybe you need to be in your 20s to do it. That's what Einstein did also. I mean, he tried something different. And when he did relativity, also it was in his 20s. And that radicality of the youth, uh, it's what very often brings humankind ahead. In, in my very little experience compared to these giants, the reason I was fascinated by science is because there were deep questions that were resonating with my adolescent uh, confusion, big questions of uh, what am I? What is reality? What is time? What is space? Uh, what is the meaning of things? What is meaning? What is the meaning of meaning? The history of physics is a history of creating a picture of the world and then changing it. So the beauty of physics is the revolution, the continuous change in our way of grasping the world. Science is uh, humankind enlarging its perspective. Uh, and this is a great adventure. And it's an adventure which is far from over. Science is not a body of knowledge. Science is a, it, it's just the aware, awareness that our body of knowledge is limited. We think that the Earth is just a flat thing and the sky is over the Earth. Good, this is a good picture of the world. You know, and then a guy comes in two millennia ago and says, well, well, wait a minute, maybe the Earth is not like that, it's just a rock floating and the sky is all around it. You know, and then another guy comes in uh, and says, well, maybe it's not just a rock, the Earth is actually moving and, and turning and spinning around the sun. How do you get an idea like that? By being extremely creative. Science is creative because it requires us to change the structure of the ideas that we use to understand the world. And this happens in the large and the big examples. Um, Einstein changes our idea about space and time. Darwin changes our idea about the relation between humankind and, and the rest of the living beings. And Heisenberg invented quantum theory. This incredible theory that goes to the, to the core of our idea of how the world is. Uh, and uh, if you want to understand this phenomenon, you have to change your 
notion of what reality is. What is reality? Do we have to think about the world in terms of things, objects, my hands, a chair, a sweater, this is red, my hands have five fingers. Is that the way the world is or that's the way the world looks to me? If we take seriously this idea that reality is relational, slowly it's our entire cultural worldview that is affected. I, I've never had a plan in my life. Things have always turned out in my life in, in an unexpected way, including now. I mean, now is a pandemic, and uh, I've spent the last year in Canada. I've been out in the snow in these days often. There is the forest just outside. I go out with a ski. It's a dream of my life to, you know, open the door and put the ski on and go out. And uh, now, I see going out in the snow, or running around, or, or dropping out school, getting fascinated, just as, a, as the same thing, namely the same pattern. You know, breaking rails and trying something else, and um, try having the courage of jumping into something. 